Welcome to Ridge Life. I'm Tim, and today we're going to make an easy to assemble and economical honeybee recovery vacuum. As for materials to build our bee recovery vacuum, I spent about 30 bucks on the accessories I'm going to need in addition to having a shop vac and a toad, just a toad I had laying around the house. Um, about $30 in, in, in miscellaneous accessories. Uh, you can spend more, you can spend less. Now, um, as far as shop vacs go, you don't need a big shop vac. The smaller vacuum, the better when dealing with honeybee recovery. Uh, a big vacuum with high flow and high power is going to damage your bees. It's going to suck them in here and they're going to hit the wall and they're going to splatter and make a puree out of your bees. Um, you don't want that, right? So we're going to prevent that. We're going to try to prevent that in the way we're going to arrange our honeybee vacuum. But a small shop vac works great. I wish I could have got a bigger hose. Now, this is an inch and a quarter hose. Same thing that's on my vacuum. I got that at Lowe's. And I wish I had a three inch or two and a half inch. The bigger the, the the, the, the volume of your hose, the, the safer it is for the bees. It's going to be pulling on them less. Um, got some random fittings I'm going to need for my pipes and my hose connections. You can just get whatever works for your arrangement. You can see the, the two pieces I got here uh, works very well. I got a cap. Cap's going to be for our uh, pipe that's going to go inside, and I'll show you what we're going to do with that. And then I got a screen. This is going to be my uh, vacuum um, intensity uh, valve. I'm going to have this screen on there and I can control the amount of vacuum I get at the end of my hose. Now as far as tools, you're going to need a hole saw, hole saw to, dig, uh, to drill your holes into your uh, container. And you can use a five gallon bucket, a seven gallon bucket, do it right on top of the lid. Uh, store everything inside the, 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 the bucket when you're done. Again, I'm just using this sealed tote. It's going to work great. I've got a, 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 a screwdriver. Uh, battery powered uh, impact driver. I've got a uh, rotary saw, skill saw. Uh, again, you can use different tools. So this is what I'm going to use for the arrangement I'm doing. And of course, just some, to, some screws to fasten my screen. So, to assemble this, very, very simple. We'll get into that now. You want to make sure you select a hole saw that's not going to be too big. You don't want a lot of slop. You want your bees getting out. Uh, make sure it's just big enough to slide the fitting through. Be a nice, tight fit. We're going to start with our suction hole on this end. Very simple. Make sure you save all the, uh, the shavings that come out. These are what we're going to test our vacuum with. These are light like a bee. Uh, we want to barely be able to pick these up and it'll work perfectly. Not too much vacuum. So we got our suction tube. We got the cap on. This is the end. You don't need to glue this stuff. You know, this is not watertight or anything. You just push it on. So I got the fittings, got the cap and the fitting. Slide it up in here, make sure it fits. I got um, some tape and a gasket material on here just to give a better seal. And that looks like it's gonna fit very well. Excellent, now I can cut the holes. Now I can cut the holes along the length of our suction tube. With our suction tube in a vise, we just wanna start cutting grooves longitudinally down down the suction tube, about say a quarter to half inch apart all the way around. We'll do that now. All right, you can see we got our slits drilled. Uh, the bees can't get in there. I did crack uh, one side up. You gotta be very careful. Um, so I'm gonna have to reinforce the center with some tape. Should be okay though. Install your cap on the end, get it all the way on. We have our top fitting. Get that slit all the way on. There we go. Now let's get our outside fitting. Crank that down. We'll have our suction tube. Nice and secure. There we go. Now that we've got the vacuum line suction tube installed, now we need to install the hose suction line. Go back to using our hole saw. This is for our suction line. There we go. Now we can get our other fitting. Again, this is for the hose side. Get our fitting installed here. And get a nice tight connection. Don't want any bees to be able to get out. 
There we go. So this, the hose, will just screw on the end of this right here. Now we're going to install our damper screen. So we've got to get another hole right in the very center here. There we go. Now I'm going to install, uh, I'm going to cut a couple holes here, make it a little bit wider. That way I get an insured enough airflow. So I can just go off to the side just a hair. There we go. So if we look at the screen, the screen can fit right down on that and have lots of airflow. Installing our screen is really simple. Just slide in the hole and get some machine screws. And these will just fasten right down on the side there. Hold it right in place. Again, we don't want to make, we want to make sure that no bees escape. Do this all the way around. Okay, very simple, very easy, easy process here. And you can use any kind of screen, any kind of screws you want. There we go. So now, now I need to install my damper. Now you can uh, put a flap on there. What I'm gonna do is one of the cutouts I had for the holes with the hole saw, I just stick it in sideways into the hole like that in the screen. Of course, I use one of those sink drains, so it fits it in there. So now it's got a full airflow and I can just turn it and block it off more. I can actually put it completely sideways and block it off almost completely so I can really control the airflow with my damper. We have got our bee vacuum assembled. You can see our vacuum line tube. We've got our slits cut in. Yeah, I know I cracked it and had to put the tape on the, uh, the cracks. Uh, you can drill holes in it instead of slits if you want. Uh, the holes may be a little more sturdy than the slits I did. Uh, so if I did, if I redo this, I may do holes, but these slits work really good. You want to make sure you have enough holes or slits to provide an even distribution of vacuum along the tubes. So you don't have bees sticking to one spot. Of course, we have our damper screen right here. And of course, this is where the hose that sucks the bees in. So the bees will come in here and just uh, start, you know, filtering around and the, the vacuum lines over here. I can put frames honeybee frames, drawn comb frames right in here, and that will also allow, allow a torturous path and the bees can stay on the frames and uh, have a place to stay until I'm ready to put them in their new, uh, new home. With everything assembled, we are ready to test out our bee vacuum. We got a bunch of these shavings here and I got a couple bigger plastic pieces that I'm gonna see if I can not pick up the big plastic piece but pick up all the fine stuff. And again, I can adjust the, the, the intensity of the vacuum with my little damper valve here. Let's go ahead and get the top on, get our seal made here, and then we can get the uh, vacuum on and we're going to start picking up our material, adjusting the damper to make it be safe. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Let's see if we got any vacuum. Got a little bit, okay. Let's start picking up some of the small stuff. It's working. Not very strong, look at that. Not much at all. We can see it doesn't have much, much vacuum from far away, but you get, get up close to it, it sucks it right up. All right, let's see if it will suck up the big plastic piece. It will, it, it, it will not suck the plastic piece up. Even this plastic piece here, it tries, but cannot pick it up. But it sucks up all the little stuff perfectly. Perfectly, perfectly, perfectly. Look at that. All right. Okay, let me adjust the damper and I'll show you by adjusting the damper, I can make it really strong. Boom, pick that right up. So that worked perfectly. Uh, it sucked up all the fine material just like it would be. It didn't pick up the, the big giant uh, pieces until I uh, closed the damper down. If we look inside, we'll see what we have collected. Okay, here's our big plastic piece. This piece picked up, and you guys can see all the little things in here that would be bees. 
all this material here would be bees just floating around in here. Again, this only came in whenever I turned the damper valve all the way closed, which gave us the most suction. And you can see no bees can get in there. Um, of course, these are smaller than bees, but it worked out great, 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 great. Once I disconnect the hose, I can store it inside here. Have my little damper valve piece stored inside there. Get the lid on. Our bee vacuum is ready for transport. There's not much to this, guys. Look at this. This is awesome. I am super happy with how our bee vacuum turned out. This thing is uh, really light, really mobile, really small. Can hold a lot of bees. and can hold the, the drawn comb frames. Um, that colony I told you about um, that I was doing the uh, forced abscond, I'm going to take this down in a couple days and see if I can get 30,000 more bees, maybe even the queen out of that if, I, if a forced abscond doesn't work again, if I don't find the queen. But this thing will suck up all those. So if you're doing a cutout in a wall uh, to get the bees, this will do it. This will get all those bees out safely. So $30 or so, use your own tote and your own shop vac. Again, you can use a five gallon bucket, seven gallon bucket. They all work great. Uh, just a little dirty, none, none the worse for wear though. So this works great and I hope you can do the same thing. Leave me some comments, suggestions how I can do this better. Um, if you see a blatant flaw in what I'm doing, let me know. But I think this is gonna work great. Uh, let me know your experience too. Let me know how, if you do one of these, Tell me how it works for you. So until next time, I hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day and go Ridge Life.